Oh hi there and welcome to this video. Today we'll be watching Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire in French and I'll try not to die of cringe because this might be an unpopular opinion but this movie is my least favorite out of all eight. Yes, including you, whatever that was. There are many reasons for that. I think the acting got worse, the director did a terrible job, the CGI somehow got worse after the first three movies. A lot of characters are ruined, this detective mystery story is handled in a very bad way. But I think everything can be summarized with this clip uh, by this channel Movie Flame. I think they summed it up perfectly. For one, it's clear that reading this book was an almighty task for him. Throughout interviews, he constantly complains about how long this book is and how tedious it was to read it. The book is that thick. The book is nearly twice as, as long as any of the other books. Go watch the full video. They dive into details of how the production of The Couplet of Fire took place and what went wrong there. And we'll just try to learn a few fun words and phrases in French by watching this movie. Let's start. Allez, habillez-vous et ne vous rendormez pas. Allez, Ron, ta mère a dit que le petit déjeuner est prêt. Hermione here is so aggressive for no reason, and it's true that she was a little bit irritated and arrogant before, but this movie is just taking it to an extreme. Les enfants, bienvenue à la Coupe du Monde de Quidditch. La Coupe du Monde. So, like in English, la Coupe uh, will mean both the couplet, la Coupe du Feu, and the cup. Uh, for sport event, la Coupe du Monde. Sur l'invitation personnelle de Monsieur Cornelius Fudge, ne te vante pas, Drago. Avec ces gens, ce n'est pas la peine. Ce n'est pas la peine. It's not worth it. Que le match commence. Of course, not showing the match is a huge disappointment for a lot of people. Uh, but I guess in this case it's okay because we don't know much about the Irish players. We don't know anything about Bulgarian players uh, apart from Victor Krum. Victor, je t'aime, je t'adore. Quand tu es loin, je t'aime plus fort. <laughs> This whole scene is so bad, just look at this, there's no magic here, something's burning and it's obvious it was lit a couple of minutes ago by the pro team. Uh, people are just running, nobody has their wands out, uh, these guys dressed in whatever this is, they're just chilling, walking with fire, no magic, no apparition, no spells, like nothing. Other wizards could have easily taken them down, like what's the real danger here? C'est mon fils. This is my son, and apparently no one else. Du crime, parti. Ce ne sont que des enfants. Ce ne sont que des enfants. These are only kids. This expression ne que was always so confusing to me because it basically means uh, only, but we have this complicated negative construction to make up this word. But you'll hear it far more often than the word seulement, so you have to memorize it. Voldemort. Tous ces gens ce soir. Avec un masque, sont aussi les siens, ses partisans. Oui, les manges morts. Les manges morts, these are death eaters. So they translated it perfectly. Manger means to eat, mort means death. De pâte à citrouille, s'il vous plaît. His face is just so awkward here. Comment le ministère peut-il ignorer qui a fait ça Il n'y avait pas de garde ou... D'après mon père. D'après means according to, so you can quote another person or mention what they said before. So discreet, Jesus, you all knows where to fly. You just tell it where do you want it to fly. You don't have to write anything on the envelope because guess what? Owls can't read unless you want everyone to know that you are keeping in touch with this person who just happens to be the most wanted criminal in the wizarding world. I think it's this green filter on everything that's bugging me concerning the overall quality of the picture, just compared to the third and fifth movies. The picture is so much clearer and sharper and just overall brighter. It looks like the first Twilight movie. 
Ce château ne sera pas seulement votre foyer cette année. Votre foyer cette année. Foyer is another word uh, that you can use to say house or household instead of maison. Mais vous saurez tout plus tard. Pour l'instant, veuillez accueillir avec moi. Pour l'instant, for now. Mais pour cela, cet élève doit survivre à trois tâches. Trois tâches extrêmement dangereuses. Trois tâches extrêmement dangereuses. So when you just hear these four words, you might find it hard to figure out how to write them because there's a difference in writing masculine versus feminine words in French. But there's actually one big hint that helps you identify the gender. It's the ending to dangerous because a masculine adjective would be dangereux, so the ending will not be pronounced, even in the plural form. So by hearing this ending, we understand that the word tâche is feminine. Plus, we know that it's plural because we have the word toi in the beginning. So now we know how to write this phrase correctly. This mechanical sound is just horrible. Nothing here is from magic. Where did they get it from? Qu'est-ce qu'il boit, à votre avis? Je sais rien, mais c'est sûrement pas du jus de citrouille. Je sais rien is a cool phrase that you can use instead of je ne sais pas or je sais pas. Pour ce qui est des forces du mal. Je suis partisan des travaux pratiques. Je suis partisan de. Un partisan is a supporter. Il faut que vous sachiez ce qui vous attend. Il faut que vous soyez préparés. Il faut que vous sachiez. Or il faut que vous voyez. Here's the subjunctive tense being used in the wild. After il faut que, we use subjunctive. So instead of saying il faut que vous savez, we say il faut que vous sachiez. Complètement dérangé. Dérangé means psychotic, out of mind, crazy, mad, and so on. Ce n'est pas par hasard si ces sortilèges sont interdits. Ce n'est pas par hasard. Par hasard means accidentally. Dumbledore l'a tracé lui-même. Et alors ah. Alors Et alors is an equivalent of the English word so. I don't know what they were doing with the lights here, but look how bad it is on their faces. They're only 14 and they look so exhausted already. Le champion de Durmstrang est Victor Krum. Do you think they put anyone else's name from Durmstrang into the cup except for Krams? I feel like Kerkhoff made sure that it was only Victor who put his name into the cup. Cringe movements from Dumbledore. He's not scared of anything, let alone some cup. No. No. Harry Potter! And here it goes, yelling Dumbledore that we all know and love. Yes, yes. Harry, as-tu déposé ton nom dans la coupe de feu? Non, monsieur. As-tu demandé à un élève plus âgé de le faire? Perfect. There are so many memes around it already, so I'm not even going to stop here for a second. Que suggérez-vous, Minerva? Mettez-y un terme. Ne laissez pas Potter concourir. Ne laissez pas Potter concourir. Laissez quelqu'un faire quelque chose. Let someone do something. Here, like in English, you don't need any prepositions. Let someone do something. Sometimes it could be tempting to put a ah there, though. Monsieur le directeur, moi aussi, j'ai du mal à croire à une pure coïncidence. J'ai du mal à croire. I find it difficult to believe. This is a good phrase. You should memorize it and use it. Laissez les choses se dérouler. Quoi? Laissez les choses se dérouler. Se dérouler could be translated as to happen, to unfold, or to resolve self. Je suis d'accord avec Severus. Je suis d'accord avec Severus. Être d'accord avec quelqu'un is the same as in English agree with somebody. So with, avec, the same preposition is used here. Je ne sais pas comment c'est arrivé, je ne sais pas pourquoi. C'est arrivé, c'est tout. C'est arrivé, c'est tout. Arriver is one of the words that we use with être in passé composé. So that's why we say c'est arrivé, not ça arrivé. P.S. Ah! L'oiseau pince. L'oiseau pince. Penser technically means to pinch and to say bite specifically you would use the word mordre. Tu t'entraînes pour ta prochaine interview je suppose. Je suppose. Use it instead of je pense to make your speech more varied. Vous portez une fleur vous vous êtes coiffé, Agrid Oui, je me suis coiffé. Vous vous êtes coiffé Oui, je me suis coiffé. Reflexive verbs are used with être in passé composé. Des dragons C'est la première tâche 
C'est une blague C'est une blague. Une blague is a joke. Perdu mort de ce que pense ton père, Malfoy. Hé hey Il est vil et cruel. Et toi, tu es pathétique. Il est vil et cruel. Et toi, tu es pathétique. So this is a perfect example of the fact that if you know English, it's not insanely difficult to learn French. Many words have very similar pronunciation and the same meaning, like uh, vil, vile, cruel, cruel, pathetic, pathetic. So you could sometimes try to pronounce an English word with a French accent and it would work. Not 100% of the time. Fleur de la cour est autant fragile et délicate que moi. He says that Fleur is not this weak, girly girl and he should be aware of her power. But throughout the movie, we never see any confirmation of that. She's always scared, nervous and kind of quiet. She just blends into the background, whereas in the books, she was very fierce, opinionated, kind of cold-hearted. And that's another character point. <laughs> L'amour naissant. Oh. L'amour naissant, Ian Love. Monsieur Digori, au coup de canon, vous... The cringe gag with the cannon. And these are just pointless, long scenes with the dragon destroying the castle. I can come up with so many reasons why that wouldn't happen, but I won't. Actually, I will. This is an endangered animal. It poses danger to wizards and to exposure of the wizarding world because it can just break loose and go eat some muggles in a nearby village. Not to mention the fact that there are supposed to be guards there that don't let dragons harm the competitors. And where are they here? The fact that Harry kills this dragon at the end, not intentionally, the dragon just falls to its death, of course, because Harry is a hero, but the fact that the dragon dies, that's the most unrealistic thing here. Mais bordel, c'est quoi ce bruit? Bordel. I had a French teacher once uh, who would constantly cut me off and say bordel when I pronounced something incorrectly or said the wrong word. So then you would have to repeat the phrase until you get it correctly. And before that he would just say bordel, bordel, bordel. Le bal de Noël est fait en tout premier lieu pour danser. En premier lieu, first and foremost, use this phrase in essays. To tue the dragon. He didn't kill him. Not in the book. What would have happened if he had? Dragons are highly protected creatures in the wizarding world. Their hide and blood is very valuable. So no one would allow the dragon to just die. C'était pas vraiment du genre maternel. Mon père a eu le cœur brisé. C'était un tout petit homme, mon père. À dix ans, j'arrivais à le soulever d'une main et à l'asseoir sur le buffet. We're all thinking the same thing, right? Ça vous étonnera peut-être, mais Neville a trouvé quelqu'un. Oh. Maintenant, je suis vraiment déprimé. Maintenant, je suis vraiment déprimé. Or even shui. So, je suis can be contracted to shui for faster pronunciation. Déprimé means depressed. So here we have Fred asking Angelina out, but do you know that she dated George after Fred died in book 7? They even got married and had kids later, one of which they named Fred. So let me know what do you think about that. Si un mec va seul au bal, ça passe. A mec is a slang word for a guy. Why is everything so physical and muggle-like? There are so many cool ways he could have punished them with magic. Cho Oui? The green screen here is so bad. Ça va aller, Ron. T'en fais pas, t'en fais pas, Ron. T'en fais pas means don't worry. You can also use the phrase t'inquiète pas. Also, I think that's the only scene in the movie where a genius says something. Elle a dit oui? Sois pas idiot. Sois pas idiot. When you give a command or an advice, it's better to use subjunctive. I'm still kind of upset about the pink color. I wish it would have been blue like in the books, but I guess it wouldn't work. It would look good with the crumbs red suit. I know a lot of people are mad about their dresses because they kind of look DIY. 
uh, we have a lot of fan art of people theorizing how their dresses would have looked and look at how beautiful they could have been so much better ça n'a vraiment aucun rapport avec this has nothing to do with something tu essaies de résoudre cette énigme n'est-ce pas où tu veux en venir où tu veux en venir what are you getting at ce n'est pas un mauvais endroit pour un bain Jesus man could you have been any more vague I guess it's done so that Harry could look smart by figuring everything out by himself but he told Cedric about the dragons directly he didn't say like hey Cedric would you like to take a walk in the forest at night no he just said there are dragons so Cedric you do better Cedric ami attends-vous pour trouver la réponse presque toutes les bulles avaient dit she was 14 when she died I'm just throwing this fact out there tu savais qu'il y avait un sorcier au Népal qui fait pousser des arbres anti-pesanteurs Les villes. Ne te vexe pas, mais je me fiche totalement. Je m'en fiche. I don't care. Stage pour étudiant du ministère, j'espère. Le dernier qui est entré au département des mystères n'en est jamais ressorti. What are you even talking about? Department of Mysteries is closed for everyone. Vous avez été extrait d'Ascaban à votre demande. Ce pour témoigner devant ce conseil. Témoigner to witness. We have also the word témoin, which means a witness. In this case, I have brought the proof in this affair. Severus Rogue was in fact a mangement. Crouch is just over Dumbledore, and I completely get why Dumbledore is terrible in this movie. There is something that would explain why these horrible things have happened. Every time I find an answer, it disappears. It's to make you crazy. Again, so out of character. Dumbledore is never nervous. He never not knows what is happening. And even if he doesn't have a clue what to do next, he will never let you know because he's a good wizard. Never let them know your next move. Pourquoi cette question? C'est parce que il était dans un rêve que j'ai fait. The way they handle this mystery is just so bad. Letting Harry know who is the man plotting against him so early, it's just lazy. Sometimes it's better to just stick to the original source. No! Arrête, fais pas ça! Il est ensorcelé, Cédric! Lâche-moi! Il est ensorcelé! Lâche-moi, let me go. Vite! Pourquoi, qu'est-ce qu'il y a? Qu'est-ce qu'il y a? What's happening? What happened? No! No! Harry! This set is just so cheap. This reveal could have been effective if you hadn't shown him in the very first scene of the movie. Le chagrin que nous éprouvons devant ce drame affreux me rappelle. Le chagrin means grief or sorrow. So I guess that's it. Most of this video was filled with me cringing and saying what's wrong with this movie. But I hope you've learned some interesting words and phrases in French. There's a lot of action in this movie, not a lot of dialogue, but it's still fun to watch. It's still fun to look at the words that you don't know or maybe that you could use in your daily conversations, in your essays, in your exams in French. So if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments and I'll see you next time.